previously on the Tour de Mont Blanc series. We made our way towards Lac Blanc, a beautiful lake at an altitude of almost 2500 meters. To get there we were facing one of the most famous parts of the TMB, the ladder section. Once past the ladder section we reached one of the most iconic viewpoints of the TMB, at the Mirror Lakes. In 10 episodes we will take you around the Mont Blanc Massif through France, Italy and Switzerland. This is the Tour de Mont Blanc. Good morning, it's our final day on the Tour de Mont Blanc. Yes, and this morning we woke up at Lac Blanc, as you can see right behind us. And the evening was absolutely spectacular. Like on the white side we had an amazing sunset. It seemed like the mountains were on fire. And on the left side there were thunderstorms. And right in front of us there were eye bags. And it was well, crazy, it really beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. The hut though, we wouldn't recommend it. The hut was really beautiful, but the food was really bad yeah really to bad. be honest it was yeah. really bad and the beds were really really small and we are really tiny dutch people so yeah. <laughs> you can imagine that like tall people can't fit in a bed but we're, we yeah. were still really lucky because the scenery was beautiful so in the end we're very happy that we stayed there mm -hmm. today like i said it's the final day to les Houches, where we started as well it's an eight kilometer hike to get there and the weather forecast is a little bit all over the place. There is sunshine, there is rain and there are thunderstorms predicted. But there is an alternative route, Petit Balcon Sud, a beautiful trail which we hiked before that runs a little bit lower. So if the weather turns bad, we can do that hike. But today, first go to Flecher, which is an hour from here, and we'll check the forecast from there. So, and the original route of the TMB goes via Brevent. It's higher than La Flecher, where we are going first. And uh, when it's thundering, the cable cars won't go from Brevent. So that's not the best spot to be in and hiding when the thunderstorms come. Exactly. So that's why we go first to La Flecher and then just see from there. So we just had a little brunch break at La Flecher, which was amazing and gave us a lot of energy. Yeah, and now we have a three hour window for going to uh, La Prasse. Yeah. So we are going to push it to there and then we'll see, see from yeah. there.
So far the weather has been perfect actually, nice and sunny, but we see some darker clouds rolling in. But so far we're really enjoying it and there are a lot of escape routes. So either way, we're good to go today. How are you feeling? Good, good again. The climb was pretty technical. There were some staircases and like it looked like a Via Ferrata part but without like the security. So it was a little bit scary and a little bit like wobbly knees, but we did it. And yeah, um, for the people who are a bit afraid of heights or don't like the technical climbs, there is also an easier route to Prefan, there's even a cable car to Prefan. So there are multiple options. So we're now at the top at Brevan, which is at 2500 meters, maybe a little bit more. And from here, no more climbing, no more climbing. After 12 days of climbing, 11 days or 12, I can't remember. It's only a downhill, it's a 1500 meter downhill, the longest downhill so far. And then we're at the trailhead again, at the finish line. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> well deserved. Yeah. Finish. And so here we are at the end of our Tour de Mont Blanc adventure. A journey that took us 170 kilometers through three incredible countries. France, Italy and Switzerland. We had our ups and downs along the way, with thunder and rain being some of the low points. But the stunning mountain passes and the beautiful views we encountered more than made up for it. And of course the trail magic. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Merci. Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. We were challenged physically with a lot of climbing with over 10,000 meters of elevation gain, but the reward was worth it in the end. 
We encountered some amazing wildlife on the trail, like marmots, ibex and mountain goats. And we met some amazing people. The snow-capped peaks of the Mont Blanc Massif were a constant reminder of the magnificence of nature and its power. The fresh air, the silence and the fastness of the mountains were a welcome escape from the hustle of our daily lives. The Tour de Mont Blanc is a test of willpower, a celebration of nature and a chance to connect with the world around us. It's a journey that will stay with you forever and we hope that you too will have the chance to experience its magic. This was the Tour de Mont Blanc. Buongiorno. It's our first morning. Luckily we found some shelter. Where we... <laughs> so we have to be careful. Could be better. <laughs> Could be better, yeah. I mean, no more than me. Well, the difference couldn't be bigger. It was pretty cool, right? Yeah, I loved it. What, what, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> 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 it's... <laughs>